So Sandra Berry has a long history in traditional Chinese medicine and has been considered an excellent fruit for prolonging life. It is a woody vine with oval leaves and bright red berries. Shisandra is also known as magnolia vine due to its ability to grow upward in a creeping fashion. It is native to northern China and parts of Korea, but as an ornamental plant, it can be found in many fine gardens throughout the world. Its Chinese name means five taste fruit because Shisandra has sour, sweet, bitter, warm, and salty taste, hence the name five taste. Shisandra berry is astringent and warming. Medicinally, traditional Chinese medicine doctors use it to calm the mind and nerves, strengthen general vitality, and tonify the heart, lungs, and nerves. Shisandra berry has tonic and astringent actions to treat cough and wheezing due to lung deficiency, as well as for chronic diarrhea, heart palpitations, night sweats, disturbing dreams, and insomnia because it can help balance the nervous system. Shisandra can be used to make a wonderful juice infusion. To make the juice infusion, we will use the weight to volume ratio of 1 to 10 with 50 grams of whole Shisandra berries and 500 milliliters of fruit juice. I am using a mix of cranberries and pomegranate juice for the infusion because the Chisandra berries have an astringent flavor. The combination of the cranberries and pomegranate will blend nicely. After you have weighed and measured the ingredients, grind the berries in an herb grinder to expose more surface area. Combine the berries and juice. Allow the mixture to soak for 24 hours. Then you can strain and drink. The recommended dosage is 3 to 5 ounces daily. Research has shown that Chisandra might cause gastrointestinal upset in some individuals. Chisandra should also be avoided by women who are pregnant as it is a uterine stimulant.